All right, so let's start with um, UV editing stuff. So um, to do UV editing, you grab the mesh you want to edit, and then you export it. FBX as usual, and to you can actually. Let's do this. Let's import first, so I can show you something. Go to the folder that you have the mesh, and let's hide the armature. Okay, so we have the body, and uh, you can actually just straight up do editing inside Blender without any reference. Like if you go to UV editing, you will see. It does work, and you can move stuff around, but you won't know what you are actually editing. Like you're just blindly following, or you have the texture as a reference. But we can import it inside Blender to actually reference it. So to find the texture uh, for clothes and stuff, it doesn't actually use diffuse texture. It uses um like ML setup and ML mask. So uh, you can edit a UV, but uh, editing that UV will determine like how the materials are spread with ML mask. Yeah. So uh, we are going to use stuff that actually uses diffuse texture, for example. So um, to find it, you just drag the mesh inside Ask Editor, and um, how do you actually find the materials in with a mesh? You, they are usually they are in the buffer. Now sometimes for some meshes they are in the mesh itself, but for the base body it is in the buffer. As you can see, there's no file section here. Uh, also, for like some rare occasion, there they will be like both in the mesh itself and in the buffer. So now, uh, usually the material buffer is the second to the last, so it's zero buffer in this case. So drag it, and um, for body, uh, they won't be immediately like Z available here. You will see it is an MI, and to find the diffuse texture that the body actually uses, it. It's behind something I called, well, people call. I just pick it up, but it's called an MI chain. So you will see the MI, like just, we can pick, actually pick randomly. Like if, you, if you're if you interested in some, how how they did it, CTPR basically, I think they have a couple of different fuses, like clean one, uh, censored and dirty and stuff. And they just put a uh, like a skin color tint over it, I think. So we can just pick either any of them; they will work. But of course, we can use the CA pal because that's the basic body color. Okay. So to trace the MI chain, as I call it, you just need to open the MI in like the next MI in the hex editor and keep going until you get the diffuse. So how do I mean by that? You just copy this and, oh, uh, I would recommend installing this if you have everything unpacked. Like if you are going the Wufen Kit route, you don't actually need this. But if you do the unbono and uncook extract stuff, it will be very, very hard to find stuff if you use Windows file search because it sucks. So. This uh, searches stuff very quickly for you. So you just put the file name in and you will show this. And you drag the next MI in the hex editor and it will show another MI, yes. So you just copy that and drag it in. And here's Here's the textures, XBM. So uh, D is diffuse, 
n is normals and rm is roughness map okay so this is the diffuse it uses and we will use it to reference our um, uv editing copy that and grab it vds okay and i will just put it right next to the uh, body because why not okay now um you will need uh ds of us as far as I know, it doesn't work with Blender, so you will need the uh, PNG or TGA version of the texture. So open the DDS in Photoshop or any photo editing software you use, like free ones are Paint.net and GIMP. Yes. Oh, this is the censored version. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So um, you will just do file save us and I like to use PNG because because reasons <laughs> and just save it and we can close it now go to blender and to hook up textures it's in shading it might take a while for your computer to load because it renders stuff but yes this is the nodes of the textures so if you it might like when you enter here it might already have a image texture thing here and hooked up to the listing for some mesh i don't know why it does that but usually it it's like only this thing and this thing so we will need to this is the output to the actual material and this is like controlling all the parts and stuff so we will need to hook up the image texture via here add go to texture and image texture and it will add a node just left click to place it and we hook up the color with the base color you will see it changes yes because it it's not finding anything basically open it up and go to the place where you have your texture and choose the png i tried with the dds it didn't work <laughs> okay so voila you'll see it is you can see it in blender yes okay so to uv edit it's actually not that bad go to uv and you will see that it automatically like put the texture on the right uh, on the left which is which is nice and like i I'm not sure how to do it. I just because f if you don't select parts of here, it doesn't show up in the left. So I usually just select everything. Or like a very useful thing is look up here. There is a this is vertex select mode. This is edge select. So you can see if you click that, the vertices vertices will disappear. And this is the face. I like to use faces for like uh, UV editing because uh, practically you are uh, moving like faces of textures and stuff. So this is more useful than the vertices. Yes. So to edit stuff, you select the uh, places you want to edit. Like you will see, you will see how the textures are actually separated between these so like that's why you, when you open a texture it's like very weird and stuff so um, for the reference part I'm getting distracted you this is the viewport like different modes this is the wireframe and this is the basic shading and this is the rendering so uh, when you are just doing basic editing, using the shading will work because rendering you will need to add like lights and stuff. Okay, so now let's select the left part and you can see how it works. Uh, this is the back. Let's select the front. If you move it, you will see, oh, yeah, the, it actually does move the the 
textures like basically UVs are how the textures are um, placed on the faces <laughs> if you can say that so to edit stuff you basically either uh, you can also do a uh, face select -like mode in here yes that is also very useful so you can move around stuff and like if you only want to edit this triangle you will need to um, only select this and if you move it and select everything it will be disconnected so if you want to connect it again you just move it back and I just do like select oh right I'm in face come on select these and right click and merge at center basically you merge both of the vertices so that it is goes back to the place it should be yeah so shouldn't like that's my basic understanding of UV editing to tinker with it more you just have to do it <laughs> like <laughs> do stuff with it and try it out there might be a better way to do this but I I don't know I'm just basic at basic stuff so um, yeah that's about it almost forgot to mention um, so uh, when you select the face and you move it the right side is highlighted uh, faces will change so it will be this is a easier way to find out like which which uh, face you are editing and multiple doesn't work it only works with one so, so usually I just select one and then try to trace it or you just uh, only select the faces you want to edit and um, also um, if you don't know some short uh, I always forgot what it's called like some shortcuts of uh, blender stuff is G for G for moving and S for scaling so moving it also works with UV editing scaling stuff and R for rotate yeah and you can see here actually transform I don't know what transform does I don't usually use it but yes that's about it <laughs>